Good evening and happy Fr Femboy Friday to everyone that's currently online. It's been a while since we played last played Deus Ex. Winter, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, as you may have guessed, we are playing, continuing our journey in Deus Ex Human Revolution. Back to normalcy, I guess, at least for a time being. We're quickly approaching the farthest I've ever gone in this game. And also, the game has turned out way differently than in my previous playthroughs. I don't think I've ever actually tracked down Sandoval in person before. And I think I remember last time we were playing, I was very surprised that how events changed compared to how they were when I first played, when I played this previously. So from here on out, I really, well and truly do not know what's going to happen. Of course, it's been so long that I've more or less forgotten what's, what was happening anyway, so it was probably going to turn out that way anyway, but, you know. Carrying this gear with me. Uh, what are we doing now? Let me see here. I going like This new keyboard I got from my streaming PC has made it very convenient to adjust the volume settings on the fly. I wonder what's going on here. Let's see what the fuck's going on with Ser with uh Seraph. <laughs> well, I guess that's a mood, right? How do I get upstairs again? Oh, right. Richard's office is... Should be on this floor, actually. The initial floor that we were on just now. At the tech lab. Not there though. Something's not right. Where is the tech lab again? Fuck me. I know it's not been that long since I last played this. I shouldn't be getting lost this easily. Is it really downstairs? No, it can't be. Must have just missed it. Got all the guards here stationed as if there's gonna be a break in at any moment. Here it is. He's not here he either, though, which is kind of bizarre. If I really wanted to, I could actually just drop down. I like how they actually changed the map to showcase the uh, rioting and violence going on outside. Which I totally just screwed up the screen squad just now. Oh shit. Sheriff? David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Mr. Darrow. I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientist yet? What else did David tell you? Over the years, plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. 
haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the promised land. I don't remember this cutscene at all. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, my little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean... If it doesn't kill us all. Adam? You're back. Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengcha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, he had to call in a favor of the DOD to do mm -hmm. it. Meaning, the conspirators probably know I'm coming. Yep. It's always gonna be like that. When is it never when is the situation never stacked against you, honestly? You're Adam Jensen, right? The security chief here? Your men did a good job securing this building when the riot broke out. Well, thanks a lot, guy. Nice to meet you too, I guess. I wonder how y'all would react if this happened in the 2020s, where we are right now. Somehow I don't think there would be nearly as much rioting. But, who knows really. I don't think we're allowed to go outside. We wouldn't be able to escape this area even if we tried. Although, I do find it kind of bizarre that we just came here, had a short cutscene with Hugh Darrow. There is a tree on fire there, chap. And then, we just get told to go back to the helipad soon after. But like I said, this is way different from my previous playthroughs. I don't remember this happening at all. I should just save just in case, huh? I can't believe I last played this on September 17th. I have a lot of saves here, chat. So it looks like the last time we played this, well, the first time we started even playing this was back in July? Has it really been so long? Time sure flies, doesn't it? Check this out. My god. 2015. June 25th. It's October now. We're still playing this. How much has changed since last June? Kind of wild. Do not readjust your headset. What is occurring is perfectly normal. Totally. Boss said we're heading back to Hangshaw. Pritchard tracks up Chenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Yeah, no what shit. Say? You ready to get going? There's nothing more I can do here. She's not going to take me back to my apartment. No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. 
I have a bad feeling about this chat. I think this is one you know what happens. We're about to find out anyway. Bad news, spy boy. Spy boy. Hangshot traffic control just revoked our clearance. We're being rerouted to another part of the city. I don't like that. I suppose you can't just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. Chinese government. I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. Yep, here we go. What the hell? We've got a sandbox on our tail. <laughs> That's not a Sam. That's an EMP. And yes, she still nailed a perfect landing. That's Farida for you. Malik, we've got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. Oh, I'll stay no. and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. Uh, fine. no. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe no, not. You won't. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. If we let her stay there, she's gonna die. So we need to take them out as quickly as possible. Which is not going to be that hard. Unless I miss all my fucking shots, apparently. But this time, we are not concerned with keeping anyone alive. This time, we are going full kill, full tilt here. Oh shit, Malik. Malik, you hurt. Just crash, spy boy. Oh, fucking shit. I think you're on your own now. Rita. Give him hell for me. Ah. Uh, isn't able to kill him quickly enough. Let's see if we can pull it off, chat. We might have to destroy all the barrels, or we might have to target all of the uh, people shooting miniguns at the ship, at the, uh, at the helicopter. Either way, I'm not giving up on well, Rita. got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. Fucking I'll be fine. This You'll be a sitting God damn. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. This goddamn hitboxes. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Wow, two shots? Not bad. Our bird is not looking very good though. But you know what? Fuck stealth this time. I hope that's all of them. Oh great, and they're dropping more. That's just beautiful. That's just what I need. Oh, fuck you, game! Really? You're dropping a rope. Okay, fine. That's it. Grenade out! Get the fuck away from Frida, assholes. What the fuck are these hitboxes? Holy shit! Come on, Square Enix. Jensen? The bird's fixed and I'm taking off. Get on with the damned mission. Thanks, spy boy. Fly high, baby. Usually I fail as part of the mission. We did not today. Hey, Steel, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Happy Fimboy Friday. 
I'm glad it only took two tries. I was afraid that would be a, that would be much harder than it actually was. Especially since I accidentally shot the damn thing a few times. I'm so glad I upgraded this magnum with explosive rounds. You know what? I'm not gonna even fucking try to do this mission quiet anymore. We're killing everyone, chat. I've not in a very pretty I've not been in the best state of mind. I'm not very merciful. We're gonna go full genocide run. Every one of these assholes is gonna die. Every last one of them. What's that, uh, Deus Ex? What's that, um, Duke Nukem quote? Man, these boys are gonna... Someone's gonna pay for fucking up my ride or something? Good job saving Malik. Thank you. It took a few... It took two tries. Because the first time, I was sniping everyone, and then it just fucking blew up. So this time I tried sniping everyone, and I... It was taking too long, so I just jumped down and started shooting people with my... Revolver. And I shit you not, I killed one of the heavy... Heavy troopers with only two shots from this thing, right? Laws breaking bad. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess that is certainly that's certainly an, an interpretation. You know, I could have sworn this was a lot harder too last time when I was playing it last time. So, well, whatever. As much as I like playing things um, quiet, I'm just gonna. I'm, Legit, just gonna murder the shit out of everyone. It's personal now, bitch. Y'all tried to kill Malik, and now I'm gonna kill y'all. I did not bring the heavy rifle with me this time, did I? I brought the combat rifle, though. Got it. I'm gonna keep the re revolver for the boss. But the uh, Comet Rifle it doesn't do much in the way of damage anyway. But it should be more enough to hit pretty. Lots of grenades and abusing invisibility. Can't fight as a pain to, in the ass to stealth. Yeah, no kidding. You know what? Um, I wasn't expecting them to drop a fucking robot here too. It's a good thing I had an EMP grenade. And it's a good thing you just need one EMP grenade to kill these guy, to kill it. And I guess I'm out of EMP grenades now too, so... So, how's your Friday been so far? Figured Part of my back palms is fucked up posture. Yeah, it's that 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 uh that makes sense. Jensen, I've been monitoring calm activity around Hengsha. Bell Tower's looking for you. Hard. I know. They ambushed us, Pritchard. Forced us to make an emergency landing. Malik barely got away in time. But they're supposed to be the good guys. Just give them a wide berth, Jensen. If they recognize you, they'll shoot. Yeah, fuck that. I'm killing all of them. It's not slouching though, which is what 90% of posture adjusters address. Um, so... If it's not that, so what else is going on? Is it... Or is this just like the way you stand or something, or...? Actually, let me get the uh, regular pistol out. This one is silence anyway. There we go. Why did I even give you the option to not? There's nothing else to look for here. Honestly. Oh. What the? F oh, shit.
Oh boy, here we go. All at once, A1 Cyber Warrior fucks up. I guess I can't just go guns blazing out here. Jensen, it's Pritchard. Have you been watching the news? Been a bit busy, Francis. Jensen, the World Health Organization is advising all augmented patients to check in with Lim. There's a problem with biochip technology. What glitches I've been experiencing? We've all had them. So far, I can't determine why. You heading to a clinic? I'm running a few more tests. But since I can't exactly run them on you, and we don't know when you'll be back, you might not want to wait. Up to you. Alright, so we're gonna go to the limb clinic instead, I suppose. Hopefully while we're there, we can pick up a few more practice kits. Might as well, right? wearing a long coat and dark glasses. No? What is this all about? This man is extremely dangerous. If you do see him, don't approach him. Just warn the nearest bell tower officer you can find. We'll handle it from there. Are you sure he did that? What is it he's supposed to have done? That is none of your concern. Move along. Um, oops. That is not what I wanted to do, but I will take it. Gonna dump your body into the sewers, or I'll just drag it until I find a convenient place to dump it. Game, please, let me just throw, let me throw him. Oh, you know what, fuck it, fine. We're not gonna bother. I see the hive is back to normal. Hey, hey, I know you. You're the one Bell Tower is looking for. I seen your picture. You got the wrong guy. What's it worth to you for me to think so? Be a simple thing for me to yell out. Maybe a few credits to keep my mouth shut, huh? How about I find some other way to keep it shut? Permanently. That... that won't be necessary. I see now that you're much <laughs> taller than the man they're looking for. I thought you might see things that way. Now move it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, asshole, look. Don't, don't fucking do shit, or I'm going to... Okay, okay, leave me alone. I won't say a word to Bell Tower. I never saw you. You better not say shit to Bell Tower, buddy. I know where you live. This is Bell Tower, isn't it? Back off. I don't remember this part of the game either, honestly. I don't know why I'm bothering to keep these people alive. Just have it, I guess. Just have it. Oh my god, thank you for, for contributing to consuming the blue chip challenge deal. Oh god, oh god, oh god, fuck. <laughs> I feel funny. I almost, I feel, I feel elated. I feel, 
I feel... Pretty? I'm not sure how to describe this. I just have this distinct feeling that not everything is alright in the world. Like, I am undergoing a transformative experience. You can almost feel- it almost feels like a wave of new ener- of raw- of uh, undescribable energy is going through my body. I guess that's what they call elation, right? <laughs> I'm glad that my one of my newest uh, abilities or unintended abilities I should say is entertaining you <laughs> This is the correct direction. Okay. So it's actually down the floor. Woo! I like that I could just fall down at will now. It's not quite morbing at morbing out, but I'll take it. That's weird. I just it's been more than three minutes by now. Here has been going on for a while, hasn't it? I wonder if it's glitched out. Eh, I suppose it doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything. It's not hurting me in any way. Missing person's picture. Ah! Slimed! Ah, get this get this gunk off me. Oh shit, some of it got in my mouth. Does this turn you on, Steel? Is this where, is this what we're doing now? <laughs> I thought so. Uh it really shouldn't be going for that long though. But, you know what? Fuck it. We'll keep it running. I'll have to check that out later, though, to see why it's continuing to Mr. run. Mr. Jensen, Hugh Darrow here. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and discretion. I find myself in need of some assistance. I'm listening. A contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha, waiting to fill you in. I'll upload her coordinates now. Need Hugh Darrow's contact. Hugh Darrow got shit to do. Man. Millionaire Hugh Dare needs my help with something. He hasn't given me any details. He said that I could get those by meeting an associate of his, Meng Yao. He's waiting for me in the Young Meng, Young Meng Road at the Yu Zhao Discot. Might be worth checking out. Woo! At a Steamboat Lully. It appears not only am I is my form still waving out. Oh, shoot. Oh. It would appear that I'm under a heavy... I'm under an attack right now. Yeah, they just stack. And unfortunately, the gray part uh, kind of... Kind of interferes with the glitch part. So, if you like, you can just... Uh, refund your glitch in the system. But they do stack on each other. Mm. Yeah. My guess is that I did... Because they're supposed to time out after three minutes. But for whatever reason, the wave is not timing out. I can turn it off manually. See? Right now, though, I do have glitch on still. Oh, I guess not. I think I have to fix one of the rewards really quick. Actually, I could probably do it really quick. No big deal. We go here to rewards. Uh, 
I see wave. And no, it says here it should end after 180 seconds. So that's weird. Oh. Oh, wait, no, I see what's wrong now. Okay. Okay. Here's the problem. I set it to run indefinitely. Let me change that to 180, and let me just correct that, and we're good. It should end after three minutes now. Thanks for finding that bug. <laughs> All the other ones wear off besides Wavy. Now it should wear, or wear off correctly. Let's go ahead and see what Hugh Dare wants first before we continue the uh, main quest line, I suppose. According to this, it should be in a top floor. So we need to head upstairs somehow. Should be right there, actually. Right across this uh, rooftops. Oh, never mind. Here she is, Meng Yao. Mr. Jensen, right? Thank you for your time. I am Meng Yao, an associate of Mr. Darrow's. I'm in charge of one of his divisions here in Hengsha. You come highly recommended. Really. Your boss described you as a most precious asset. A beta. <laughs> Apparently, you are very efficient and always get the job done. We could definitely use a man like you for this operation. Let's hope his confidence is well placed then. Oh, I'm sure it is. Mr. Darrow doesn't trust just anyone. We need you to help us stop a group of terrorists Ooh, who are terrorists. threatening the Panchea project. It is not an easy task. Are you sure you are up to it? Sure. Okay, I'll help out. Can't see why Excellent. Not. Here's the situation. It has come to our attention that these terrorists possess highly classified proprietary information about Panchea. We've been able to convince them to sell it to one of our agents, a man named Lofe. Lafay. The meeting is supposed to take place near the Alice Garden Pods in the Daigong district. And you want me to crash this meeting? Actually, there will not be a meeting. We are sending you alone to ensure Mr. Fei's safety. The terrorists will not be expecting that, and will have the information with them on a data chip. You have to neutralize all of the sellers and retrieve the chip so you can bring it to me. I don't get it. If Fei set up the meeting, why risk sending me in his stead? Why doesn't he or even some of your other agents drop in on the sellers and take the chip? Because Mr. Darrow wants an absolute guarantee that there will be no casualties. We will not play by their rules. We want them arrested and questioned, then properly prosecuted and sentenced. So oh, she this doesn't want me to get to kill any of them. And efficiency. That's why a man with your particular skills will be indispensable. Anything else I need to know? The sellers are expecting Mr. Fay and Mr. Fay alone. If they spot you, they will shoot on sight. Need I point out this might make your job a lot harder? Story of my life. <laughs> oh, Adam Jensen is just done. He's like, yeah, fuck. Of course it's gonna be difficult. Why wouldn't it be? He is just so done. They're going back to the Qui-Gon district anyway. 
Well, that was kind of a pointless trip, but okay. How far are we from the target, I wonder? Oh, man. That's them up there, huh? Interesting. Shouldn't be too difficult, though. We brought the tranquilizers this time. more I got a targeting if these should be homing I believe should make things a little bit easier for us I hope looks like the rest are probably up there for the gun, idiot. Or the ammunition, I should say. This is a tradition in China, too, apparently. I thought that was more of a Detroit thing. Now, how do I elevate myself? That is a question. I'm gonna give you a head pad steal. What's wrong with you, guy? if I can. Ah! Ben Boy, thank you so much for the Hydrate Redeem. How are you doing tonight? The posture check. And the Gamer Redeem. And the Head Pat. Happy Friday, by the way. Although I guess it's Saturday over there in Australia. Y'all just love giving me nausea, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday afternoon. Yeah. From the future. Not the far future, but the near future. The future we deserve, not the future we wanted. How do we get up there? Do I have to freaking... Alright, I guess I will have to... Crawl all the way back. I guess. Didn't I take this guy out earlier? Kind of dumb that he's... Awake again. I wonder if I can just snag him. How the fuck did they notice me? Where Damn it. Uh. Alright, so how do I get up there is the question. Alright, some creative... 
jumping. Femboys are quite literally the future right now. Indeed we are. Femboy supremacy is here. We won without so much as a fight. At least I like to think so. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where the fuck are these? Honestly. I'm not going crazy, right? Yeah, they're all down here. So, oh, they're down there, not up here. I'm tripping. I'm tripping balls. Chat. They must be on this floor. Yep, they are. Those do not look like terrorists. That looks like a bodyguard of some kind. I don't know how they expect me to silent take down all these creeps. They're all clumped up. Unless I use the peps gun, of course. And I guess that is a possible option. I suppose I could just stealth my way in there, too. These look like terrorists. They do not look like terrorists, chat. These are the most well-dressed terrorists I've ever seen. I might be able to take out a couple of them. This guy over here, if he walks over here closer, I should be able to take him out, shoot him in the face with a trank and drag his body away. Fucking queen. Should be fine. Emphasis on should. Still though, I would not call these guys terrorists in the slightest. Let's wait for him to turn around really quick. Hey, Sar. Hey, Sar. Hey, Werewolf. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Happy Friend Boy Friday. Femboy Friday, rather. Just doing some good old Deus Ex. These terrorists dress well, but they are dumb as a bag of bricks, let me tell you. Say goodnight. Well, fuck you too, game. Okay. Are those... Those are probably not... Those apparently are terrorists too, but... Why are they... Shit, sitting around a trash fire? Unless their organization is a trash fire. You get my meaning? You get what I mean? If I shoot this guy, if I trank this guy, he's gonna fall asleep right in front of the other dude over there. So I'll need to wait until he goes inside the tunnel. Then I'll detrank him. He's gonna drown if you leave him like that. Yeah, you're right. He's gonna drown in literal filth. Amazing, right? <laughs> oh my god, he went down like a sack of bricks. Oh, glorious. <laughs> oh, your souls are mine now. Data chip. Ooh, I got a practice point. These guys are carrying machine pistols. 
They do not look like terrorists, much less street thugs, do they, chat? Does this look like a street thug to you? Look at how expensive these suits must be. I love that. I love the fact that it actually shows the dart, too, sticking out of him. Depends on what street. Uh, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> What's the name of that one movie um, about about dancing or something? 95 Jump Street or something? Something like that. That seemed a little too easy though. I wonder if there's something extra, if there's something more to this side quest. I'm glad I brought my all my uh, stun and trank uh, weapon though. For this purpose. One on Jump Street is not about dancing. Is it not? I thought I thought that was one of those dancing movies. What's it about then? <laughs> Did they not jump? Or is that? Oh wait, no. Is that the basketball one? Is that the one about basketball? I don't know. That's why I'm asking Steel. Oh, fuck my life. Okay, so they're hostile. Well, since they are awake anyway, I guess it's time to use the peps. Did that miss? Really? That missed, chap. I'm gonna morb yet. Ah, uh, there goes all my fucking health. And I don't have any replacements. I need to find some booze or some hypos later. The important part is I took out all these guards and I didn't even have to kill any of them even though I had to use a bunch of my peps. But I don't get to use the peps very often so you know what? I think it works out. Also they're paying me in combat rifle ammo. Also fuck bell tower. That guy is wearing an ODST helmet Nito. Mm -hmm. Why are they yelling Kupau? So anyway... That was certainly a thing. Let's go back and report, I guess, our success. I have half a mind to punch this guy's lights out as well. Not gonna lie. But I don't think I will. I think he got the picture that I'm not gonna take shit from him. Only five rounds on a rifle? Oh, uh, why? Oh, yeah, this is the Hong Kong undersea levels. Mm hmm. Uh, that's just because it fires one round per shot, I guess. And I only had around seven of these big ass energy pod things. I'm still kind of triggered that it actually got blocked by the wall at one time. Do you know when Jump Street is about cops going undercover in a high school? It was an old procedural cop show that got a film adaptation? Really? I thought it was a about basketball. I didn't realize that that was about cops. Then which one was the one that was about basketball? I meant in the rifles you picked up. Oh. No, they didn't have, uh, they didn't actually have only five rounds. They start off with, like, 20, and you upgrade them to get them, give them more rounds. Um, that's just how many bullets I pulled out of them, because that's how they decide to run this game, apparently, how to, that's how they decide to interpret it in this game, whatever, for whatever reason. Ah, you buy or sell? I do it all. Look at a computer and see for yourself. What you got for me, boy? Uh, stop warm software? 
More peps energy packs, stun gun darts, shotgun cartridges, revolver ammo, a stun gun, a shotgun, first round system, target seeker. Or a combat rifle, machine pistol. Hmm. This is cool. We can afford this, and it's not that, expen uh, not that expensive, honestly. Already got an explosive system on the explo on the uh, revolver, and we already got an armor-piercing system for my pistol. Give me the target seekers, please. Come back anytime. Yeah, 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 yeah. You bet your ass I'll be coming back anytime. I need to make room some really some room really quick. Let's drop the uh, combat ammo. We'll pick it up after we we'll pick this stuff up back up after we buy the target seeker. Everything you want, right here. Wait, you're not thinking of white guys can't jump, are you? I've never heard of white guys can't jump. What kind of fucking name is that? Gas needs are nice too. If you get the lung augment, make sure you mean to gas. Yeah, good point. Right, thanks for the reminder, actually. I'll be sure to do that. Um, let me. Bye bye. I see you soon. Let me go ahead and upgrade this really quick. Combine combat rifle. Thank you. Um, how much room have I got? Looks like I got. I do have room for some explosives. Like one right there, one slot. The best in town. Bye. Um, gas grenade. I wonder if I can just buy some more peps here really quick. And trank, trank darts. Bye. 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 We got plenty of pistol ammo. I don't think I need that anymore. Um, uh, do I need to do any more? Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Okay. I think we can't hold any more combat rifle ammo, but I need to refill up on my revolver ammo for sure. You're sold out of that. Okay. Come back anytime. Yeah, sure, sure. I will be sure to. Thank you. I will do it here. Mm. Put it over here. Now then. Let's go report our success. And what a success it was, for that matter. Whoa. That that dude does not look like a soul. You're in the wrong part of town, Lala. Go back. Who the fuck is this guy? Some sort of gangster? I guess we'll leave him alone for now. Because I have a mission to do. Must get that chip back, Mr. Jensen. I got the chip. The sellers are out cold. Excellent work. Seems Mr. Darrow was right to trust you. We will send people to take care of the terrorists. Could I see the chip? How about you tell me what's on it first? Blackmail, Mr. Jensen? Don't waste your time. I won't tell you anything. Besides, there are stones better left unturned. Might as well just give me the chip and leave it at that. I don't think so. Actually.
Look, you're a powerful young woman. You're in a position that warrants your access to classified information. I understand that not everybody should get their hands on this, but I'm like you. I work for a powerful man, and I get entrusted with secret information on a daily basis. Plus, I'm the one who busted his ass getting this chip for you. I guess your point is not entirely without merit. But understand, this information is extremely confidential. It concerns Panchea, and more specifically, the Hiram Project. Hiram Project? Never heard of it. I'm not surprised. It is a well-guarded secret. But without it, Panchea could not exist. Such an ambitious project. An installation extending all the way to the ocean floor. Oh, nice. The pressure exerted against it is constantly shifting. Yet the slightest defect in structural integrity could bring it all down. That's why we needed something powerful and extremely efficient to monitor it. Day like an artificial and intelligence. You're saying the Hyron project is some kind of advanced computer? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Thank you for your honesty. The information is safe with me, don't worry. Here's your data chip. Ah, perfect. You don't know what this means, Mr. Jensen. Your help has been invaluable. Thank you. Even though this was a favor for Mr. Darrow, he believes you should be duly rewarded. Here is a payment in credits. I'm sure Mr. Darrow will wish to congratulate you himself. Expect to hear from him soon. Yeah. We grifted the shit out of that woman. But good. Gotta say, that was a fairly simple uh, side art. Uh, yeah, we did it. But you know what? That was a fairly simple it side It seems bus. David has a flair for choosing his people, Mr. Jensen. You have done me a great service today. Glad I could help. Couldn't let information about something as sensitive as the Hyron Project get in the hands of the wrong people. No. No, we couldn't. So, Meng Yao told you about the project, I see. A little. I am afraid words can't do it justice. To fully comprehend the ramifications of what's been created in Panchea, you'd have to see it for yourself. And who knows? Perhaps one day you will. I have 40 sniper bolts? I didn't realize that. I don't know why these guys are hostile to me. But I'm not in the mood to take shit from anyone right now. The problem is figuring out which one is hostile and which one's not. actually home in on them now. That's cool. I was doing uh, non-lethal for a little while, but there's some of these missions, but some of these things I kind of, some of these enemies I kind of have a grudge against, so I did kill a few of them. Who the fuck is shooting me? What the fuck? I think I'm being shot at by a dumpster chat. Was... were they? Oh, no way! They're cloaked? They're cloaked? And I just shot a guy in a welding helmet in the head, and he did not die. Is that a machine gun? What is that noise? Oh, shit. What the fuck is that? He's cloaked, and he has a machine gun, and he has a... A heavy rifle. Great. Oh my god.
I think I just accidentally killed two innocent people. Sorry. My god, how are you still alive? Holy shit. Oh my god. These were not average gangbangers. This is why you suggest to gas when you stay prepped for situations like this. Uh Harvesters, oh they are gangbangers. I'll keep that in mind next time this happens because that ate through a lot of my ammunition just now. And it just occurred to me too, I could have taken them out all out uh, non-lethally using this thing. Dude had a welding mask and he still managed to fuck my day- fuck my shit up. Seriously. Uh, some civilians got caught in the crossfire though. Bad day. Well, that's one last gr less group of harvesters I suppose, right? I don't remember who it was, but someone told me that hacking the CPU gives you all the stuff for gives you all the stuff automatically. Thank you for letting me know about that. It made some of these hacking mini games a lot easier. Never been inside here before either. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Access granted. All right. Guess I'm not getting all the new goodies from that one, chat. Remember how in the original Deus Ex you could just hack these things and get free money? Worked out though, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I yo. Looks like this is the same problem too. Except now I could just do this. Game over, pal. Access granted. Oh. Uh. Is this a harvester base? Must be. I'm not even sure if I could take this guy out with one sh- or can I? Up. 
Yep. So much raw outside warrior, huh? It didn't do him a lick of good. Where's this guy, chap? Oh, there he is. Some kind of harvester base? I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Aren't you the lucky one, BK? Despite how badly you let us down last time, the DH wants me to assign another collection job to you. No woman involved this time, so I guess he figures you can't mess it up. Your job's in Upper Hengsha. Client's name, Officer Choi Yang Fa. He's paying in merchandise, not cash, so when you got the goods, stash them in the weapon room we safe. Access code is the Year of the Red, 1975. Were you able to talk to the veteran in the beginning out of doing evil stuff? Uh, yeah. You mean the guy that was trying to get who wanted to commit suicide, right? Yeah, I did. I guess he's going to be, like, helping us out later, right? <laughs> oh, these guys, I guess these guys, uh, hunt down people with cyberware and sell off their cyber rocks. That's kind of nasty. Maybe I should be killing them after all. Your security means nothing to me, Zhang. Your security is garbage, Zhang. Which means you are garbage, Zhang. Access granted. Oh, Tracer Tong. I was wondering when we were going to find this guy. At least I think this is Tracer Tong. Might not be. Nigerians. And one remote remote detonated device, which I'll be sure to use at our earliest convenience. Not much here, I guess. Place seems clean. Only one harvester right there. Did I miss? Or is it taking a while? Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Where's my pistol? I'm 
I'm glad this uh, tracking system doesn't require energy. Oh, a turret. I wonder if I can hack it. Otherwise, you're doing pretty well right now. Just going through this harvester base that I don't think I was intended to go through. <laughs> oh man, this is great. Hey, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I wonder if it's possible to hack one of these turrets and then carry them around and just like use them to mow down enemies. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can destroy this by throwing it. It's far enough away that I don't think I'm just going to do attract anyone if I throw it, if I... Help! I've fallen and I can't get up! Contact life alert! <laughs> so like, I threw it, but it didn't do anything. And right now, it's fallen and cannot get up. And it cannot possibly shoot me because it's, you know, incapacitated. I wonder how many rounds of pistol ammunition it takes to kill it. I'm sure I'll get experience for killing this, right? It literally cannot do anything. Well, I mean, I'm using armor-piercing rounds, so I assume that this might do something, but I guess not? Guess we'll leave it there for now. I'll take out the rest of the um, harvesters living down here. I'll probably just have to hack my way to victory. There don't seem to be any more harvesters in the area. Oh no! An electric it's an electrified floor, chat. Whatever shall I do? Actually it looks like I can't enter access this area right now. I'll need to go through I'll need to go through a um, vent to somewhere. What will I do? Hmm. What indeed? First, I need to find a way to get in there. Oh, so this is where the security station was. Okay. Alex Jones is just yakking and yakking in the background. That shuts down the electricity. Oh! You know what? That's a good point. I could have just used the explosive devices, my explosives on it. Let's go ahead and get the experience for killing the turret.
Oh? Is it already shut down? Will I still get experience for killing this? Yeah. Well, that's a killjoy. It looks like I did not get experience for killing it. If I had known that was going to happen, I would have just... Uh, killed it like that to begin with. But no... Five extra health for drinking a can of beer. What does this tell you, chat? Beer makes me strong. Yes, it does. A laser rifle? What laser rifle? You mean to tell me there's a laser rifle in this game, too? I didn't know that. Hell yeah! Is there- is there a laser rifle in this room somewhere? Is this like a secret weapon that I can find? Is that what's going on here? Give me the laser rifle. But how do I get to this room? There must be a secret vent somewhere. Yeah, me neither. I I don't remember the laser rifle. I don't even remember this part of the game at this point. I think I usually stop way before this part. There must be a vent somewhere to access that. The question is figuring out where it is. Is someone there? Huh? Who said that? Who the fuck said that? I'm gonna pop your- snap your neck, buddy. What the fuck? What the fuck? Nani? Dude. Oh my god. No, you're a No, you're a Where is this guy? I hear you, but I don't see you. As much noise as I made, I'm surprised I've not run into this guy. Bye, Irma. Is that what that means? Huh. Oh, I see. Thank you for the translation. Oh shit, there's two of them. How did I not notice those people there before? What the shit?
He may have cloaked, but unfortunately for him, his cloak means nothing to me. The ER is a suffix attached to the Y, so in this context it would make... It would mean where. I see. Do you study Chinese, or are you Chinese yourself? That's pretty good. Hey! How many... God, there's a lot here. This must be a... I must have found a harvester base on accident. You took Chinese for a number of years before dropping it? Well, you retained it pretty well. Did I miss? Fuck. I think I missed. Didn't miss that time. The sleep on the darts is delayed somewhat. Keep that in mind. On armor enemies, at least. Okay. Oh, what the shit? Fuck. Ah, here we go. Man, I love this gun. I'm running out of uh, revolver ammo very quickly, though. Oh, shit! What the fuck? Oh, there's a bunch of you. I see. Really? Oh, man. I'm running out of ammo quick. Yeah, no kidding. It's just for a suppression fire, right? Did they... At least as far as I've seen, in the uh, Middle East, they seem to use it mostly for suppression, not to actually hit anything. Yeah. Is that all of them? I could have sworn there was one left. Oh, there's two more left. Great. Wait, what the shit? There are a bunch of not are there a bunch of uh, non-hostiles here? What did I just run it walk into? Oh. I don't think I've ever done this part of the game before. This is new to me. That's far enough, Guilo. <laughs> I think I might have sequence broken something because I'm pretty sure you're... I didn't get like even a quest for this. Oh, it's this bastard. Tong. Have we met? Because I'm sure I'd remember the man who got most of Hengsha biting its own tail to find him. A lot of bell tower heavies looking for you. And you reason I don't just turn you over. Yeah. Vasily Shevchenko. Never touch the stuff. You're wearing his arm. GPL device inside it. Let me straight to you. Scavenged tech. Get you every time. Wrong woman, don't do that, you hear? Sorry to say, the man I got this from wasn't in a position to complain. Bell Tower gave us his corpse a few weeks ago. Bell Tower? Not Taeyang? Not Taeyang? Ta 
Ion's not the one grabbing people off my streets and giving me choice arms, so I close my eyes. Sevchenko had four other scientists with him. I'm not wearing any of them. So maybe they're still alive, and maybe I help you out with this. Go on. I've got a pretty good idea where Bell Tower's been dragging people. Problem is, bastard's got my son, and he gets a bullet if I step out of line. See where I'm going with this? Where's he being held? One of my harvester boys will tell you all about it. Meet him in the sewers near the Alice Garden Pods. Then, when you free my boy, come back and we talk some more. I can hardly wait. All right. Uh huh. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I I uh, I didn't kill all of your troops, buddy. But you know what? Consider that our fight my fee. Augmented eyes allow you to look straight. At welding fire and not go blind. You might have. Oh, and this is Cantonese, which is used in Western China and Hong Kong and Taiwan. That's cool. I don't know many people that know Cantonese, but a lot of people that know Mandarin. You find my boy Lao Wai. He's smart, but he's not a fighter. He's more a. How you say it? A scrap. A scrapper, huh? Sure, I'll find your boy. The fuck is going on here? <laughs> Southeastern China and Guang and Guangzhou to be specific. Cool. I always wondered where Cantonese were, or where Cantonese was spoken. Wonder what happened to his woman. You know, I didn't know if we would get to meet Tracer Tong again, so this is an interesting turn of events. Yeah, Tracer Tong, uh, Tong, sorry about fucking up pretty much your entire gang. Well, a third of your gang, I should say. I'm sure you'll just replace them anyway. That's how these people work, right? I really don't remember this part of the game either, which is strange. I remember the part where you helped Tong escape, though. This must be Tracer Tong's computer. You would think it would have better security, though. Access grant. I'm aware that you don't approve, but you will have to show some respect. I've been doing this for a long time. I know the risks. As for Hong Kong, we can look into options. We might need someone to oversee operations we can discuss later. Father, I think it was a, ba a bad idea to use that last shipment of Augs. Profit is good, but I can't help but feel we made a deal with the devil. I know you don't want to hear me say it, but Hong Kong is starting to look more and more attractive to me. Dung Leon. They brought me a new subject last night. The Augs in the body were mostly useless, but we did recover a cloaking device in near perfect condition. I wouldn't do... it. Wouldn't do a do subdermal implant with it, but it would make a great handheld. Are you interested? Huh. This one has a high high security rating. Remind me, we need to go to the limb clinic too to get our new implants or whatever the hell. Access granted. I completely forgot that we were actually supposed to be doing that. Ammunition count. Yes, please. Please, 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 please. I don't need typhoon ammo actually, I can just sell that. 
Uh, let's combine this with... What are we going to use it on, chat? Use it on the revolver. Now, how is it that the game... How is it that you're even able to increase the number of rounds on a revolver that has a set number of rounds in its magazine? Or should I say clip? It's probably a clip. Now it has seven bullets instead of... <laughs> Start off with five. So, I guess that upgrade just increases the number of, uh, increases the size of the barrel, or increases the size of the clip. <laughs> oh, chamber. My bad. I do like how my revolver looks now, though. Looks fairly badass at this point. Like, I like how you actually see the upgrades over time, and it gets- as they get beefier and beefier. Decrease the diameter of each cylinder to make enough space for another cylinder. Oh, I see. Wouldn't that, in, wouldn't that reduce the caliber of each round then? I mean, I guess you could just pump more gunpowder into each shot. This is a prison cell. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, this place is nasty. This must be where they harvest the parts. Hey, hey, Tear Wolf. Welcome to the stream. How's your Friday? Oh, shit. I didn't read your comment before I did that. That's alright. I'm sure I'll be getting another Praxis fairly soon. So I'll do it then. How do we get out of here again? I think I'm lost. Yeah, I kind of figured it would probably have been very useful in this, uh, in this, uh, gauntlet that I just ran. So, it's between that and the power cells, honestly. What I really want to do right now, though, 
Let's figure out how to access that room for which I just turned off the electricity. I want to see what's over there. Like, there's a vent there, right? But where does it come from is my question. There's probably some goodies hiding behind this grate, and I just need to figure out how to get there. But I don't know how to get there. I don't see any obvious vents anywhere. And usually they're fairly obvious. Since the electricity thing was right there, this implies that the vent should be relatively close by. Damn it! That's not what I wanted to do. Which could just re enter, I guess. Ah! Thank you for the hijack redeem, Vimboy. I guess the harvesters aren't going to target me anymore because... Thank you for the headpats as well. I'm drinking some oolong tea right now. Some oolong tea that I actually bought at Dragon Con this year. It's fairly good as far as oolong tea goes. But well, you don't get that many of them, so I have to ration them out. And since I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to go to Dragon Con next year, I really need to make sure that I ration them out because I don't know when I'll be able to buy this again. When are we doing VR? Um, do you want to hang out in VR this weekend sometime? You had some a couple of weeks ago? I see you have good taste. I also see that the harvesters already respawn. What the hell? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let me know what hours you want to do it, and I'll try and work around them. How do I get over there? Is there like a freaking are there vent is there a vent around here? Honestly, any that I'm awake lol. <laughs> uh it's 140 right now. It's 1040 where I am. So I'm sure we could work something out eventually. Oh man, everyone respond. They're not dead anymore. Even though this is still here. Maybe there's nothing important in there and I'm just wasting my time running around looking for the entrance to the vent. Usually it's like right, usually it's not that far away. It should be like in the same general area.
So this is the exit. Elevator. Boxes. Boxes. No vent down here. Why there's a light over this thing? Is this a reference to something? There's a tiny, tiny gravestone here. And there's a light over it too. This was intentional chat, but I wonder what it's a reference to. I'm not tripping. This looks like it's this looks like it's supposed to be Even though there's another one over here, I mean, what else could these things be, right? It's like a tiny gravestone. Oh. It's a good thing I looked around. I would have missed this. I don't feel like... No, I'm gonna hack it. Fuck it. More XP for us. Even though it has a high security rating. Two hundred X three XP, three hundred twenty five actually. Heavy rifle, plasma rifle, cooling system. A plasma rifle? What the fuck do you mean the plasma rifle? Laser rifle battery? So you do get a fucking laser weapon of some kind later on in this game. What the shit? I need to make room for it somehow. Poggers. Chat. Absolutely poggers. What am I going to dump? I need my trank darts. I guess I don't need all these explosives, to be honest. The internal coolant enhancement package uses modified Doppler trap technology to dissipate heat so efficiently that the threat of heat jamming is non-existent. It allows for extended bursts of fire when attached to a weapon. I'm gonna go actually look at... I fucked up. I should have saved over... whatever. I'm gonna go check a guide actually first on this chat. I'm just- this is really drilling into my brain. I just want to know... I want to know what that leads to.
Is the game not going to tell me? All right, these guides are not very useful, actually. Those will probably come in handy later if I have to deal with freaking Bomberman or something. Or if another freaking droid. Since you can't exactly hack the every droid you see or anything like that. I wish I could check a walkthrough to see how to get into that room. That used to be electric. Uh, used to be electrified, and I'm probably gonna be get angry when I find out that it turns out it was actually very simple the whole time. Now it's just being really dumb, and not 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 operating with eye with eyes, with cyber eyes. But I'm fairly certain if there's an entrance there, it's not. Here. Thankfully, the guards no longer care about me just throwing random stuff around the garage, parking garage. No way out. I can't pick up these pay stations. There doesn't seem to be anything over here. At first I thought it was hidden behind these boxes, but that's clearly not the case either. Do I have to resort to geese and game facts? Because I will resort to looking these up this these up on game facts. Alright. Game facts it is. All these years and game facts is still around. Macintosh? Okay, 23 facts. Walk through. I knew it, you could just get another one from Limb Clinic. Ancient Docks. Ammo capacity? Yeah, that was very easy to miss. And there's a damage upgrade some weapons modification somewhere in the cells. We bought that. Already got that.
Facebook. Dang, this is old. That's not what I was looking for. Try looking for Tong. Not Silver Tong, Tong. I missed a laser rifle. It was in the room with Tong. I was wondering why there was laser rifle ammo all over, all over the place, and now we know why. Because it was there the whole time. But none of this says how to get into the room that was electrified. Would you go back to the previous save and get it? I mean, I could do that. I probably would because I spent all that time picking up the uh, stuff, but... I don't think I have to do that. I'm pretty sure you can just access Tong's office by literally walking by going back there let me check But while we're here, let's go ahead and pick up the damage upgrade too, which is apparently also here. Or somewhere around here. There it is. Guess you need to hack it to get it open. They weren't kidding when he said that this is easy to miss. You could go through this game quite a few times and you would still find stuff you didn't see the first time. Such is the nature of games like this, I guess. Access granted. According to this guide, it should apparently be in Tracer Tong's room or whatever. Is that Ooh It's some holy pamphlets about the machine god. Embrace the singularity. Meat bags. Totes. Find this with... Let's just make an already op gun even more op, huh? But yeah, um, according to the guide, the laser rifle is apparently in the room with Tracer Tong, so... If that's the case, let's go back to his office and pick it up before we leave. 
Um, where's Tracer Tong's office again? It's here, right? There it is. That's what this thing is? It's glorious. But how big is it? Oh my goodness, that is a sexy beast. Oh. It's for the plasma rifle, not for the... Sure, I'll quick save in just a bit. Need to pick up my need to pick up some of this stuff again though. A thousand ammunition. Uh, look at this big ass motherfucker. Five one thousand five hundred ammunition. Wild. This should probably help with the boss, I imagine. I need to get my pick up my peps again, though. Because, you know, I've kind of grown attached to the peps. I'm assuming that I don't really need explosives anymore because of this thing, so we can probably get rid of those. I have an EMP mine here, but... Oh my god. Running out of ammunition. There we go. Alright, we managed to... Okay. The cooling system is for use is for use on the plasma rifle, but I haven't found the plasma rifle yet. Instead, I got a laser rifle here. And even reading this guide here it doesn't tell me how to find. Even this guide doesn't tell me where to find that um what you call it. Find how to get inside that room with electricity. Yeah, it is big. It's even bigger than the rocket launcher. It looks like it has significant damage. It does a lot of damage too. It has decent ammo capacity and extremely high rate of fire. Somewhat cumbersome. Directed energy rifle. Penetrates low density obstacles and cover to deliver damage directly to concealed targets. Not compatible with sound suppressors or laser targeting system add ons. It does, however, accept upgrades for reload speed, the damage output, and ammo capacity. Well, that's good to know, game. For when you absolutely positively want to kill every motherfucker in the room, except no substitutes. All right. Okay, let's go head back to the surface. I'm getting claustrophobic living or staying down here as long as we have. Did the game say that there's a Praxis kit I could find down here? I asked a friend who is an art to make me a PNG so he could start VTubing. VTubing. He never checks Discord, so. <laughs> so it's taking a while? Well, patience. Good things come to all to those who wait and all that good stuff. Wow, how did I miss this the first time? I'm glad we came back and got that one the free 1,000 credits. 
All right. So let's head back to the surface. Um, that's kind of exaggerating. I don't mind being underground, but, you know, fresh air and all that. Street level. It may not seem like it, but I don't actually like being stuck in one place. Or isolated. I mean, why else do you think I've been trying to escape the internet? Alright, so I guess we'll go ahead and head to the limb clinic from here. Might as well, right? I actually don't remember how to get there. Ah, follow the signs, I suppose. We actually have to take a train to Zhuxiang District. Kind of sweet. Wait, isn't this a bell tower rep? Shut the fuck up. Not you, chat. I mean, this NPC that I just knocked the fuck out. Elizabeth Duclair, spokeswoman for the WHO. Look at all these people online. Damn, it's like a party out here. Yeah, he is gone. TKO. Yeah, I read something. I just read something in the guide. Something about how. Something about not getting the biochip or whatever. I wonder if that's like a secret ending of some kind. You hear Online. Sorry, Carl? There is problem with the peripheral nerve interface. We fixed with upgraded chip. You want it, yes? I'll think about it. Clinic, it's very really busy. But if you want something else, we will service you. Yeah, man. Give me your Praxis kits, please. Thank you. Also, your Hypostims. Alright, don't give me the Hypostims. You're very welcome, sir. But we got the Praxis kits now. We actually read a bunch of the uh, emails about this recall and about how they are being manufactured by Tai Young and this was supposed to be, like, planned. So I'm curious about the game being like, oh, Herp Derp, you got the recoiled chip, recalled chip, so now we're gonna fuck your life up.
Do I get smart vision or do I get more lighter batteries? I've done pretty well without using more. Yeah, fuck it. We'll get smart vision. We're not exactly hurting for like. We're not exactly hurting for energy bars anyway. You hear some recall? Yeah, it's probably. I'll think about it. You're very welcome, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Jensen? Who wants to know, Dr. Wang? Ah, get it? Dr. Wang? He is probably gonna give us a quest, so I better save. What up? I am not mistaken. You are Mr. Jensen, right? That depends. Who's asking? I am sorry, Mr. Jensen. I am being impolite. My name is Wing Hui. I am a doctor here. I can see that. What I really meant to ask is how do you know who I am? Yes, yes, of course. Excuse me, for I am a bit nervous. Bell Tower agents were here a while ago, looking for a man who fits your description. When I heard what they were saying of you, it occurred to me that you might be exactly the person I need. Need for what, exactly? Tread carefully, Doc, because I'm about one step away from losing my patience here. No, please. You misunderstand. I only wish to talk to you about something. And it is not an easy subject to discuss, as it is a rather sensitive matter. Truly, Mr. Jensen, I would never force anyone to do something against their will. On that, you have my word. Glad to hear it. So what's this all about then? I... I'm afraid I won't be able to go into very much details. Not before I know you are really mm. willing to help. But I need someone to help me to stop a very dangerous augmented soldier, and possibly his squad mates. If everything Bell Tower said of you is true, then you would seem the good fit for this job. You bet. Fine, I'll do it. Just tell me more. Thank you. Now please, understand that I am to give you sensitive information on multiple parties. I understand, Doc. You can count on my discretion. I appreciate it, Mr. Jensen. Obviously, you are familiar with Bell Tower and the role they have in this city. What you may not be familiar, familiar with, with, however, is the that fact, the fact that, that sometimes they, they contract, contract limb doctors, doctors like, like myself, myself to work in private clinics on special projects. Oh, really? What kind yeah, of special more. projects? What you Americans call black, black operations. operations. Bell Tower selects some of their best soldiers and make them to be super augmented with experimental, top-secret hardware. Not to sound too jaded, Doc. But none of that comes as a big surprise. Stuff like that's been going on for years. Yes. Your the government and, and mine have both been, been guilty, guilty of this, this practice, practice, I am sure. But Bell Tower is not a government. They are a private corporation. A private army, on sale to the highest <laughs> bidder. Is this about stopping Bell Tower, then? Because as much as I might hate them right now, I'm only one man. I'm a one-man no, no. army. It is not about? all of Bell Tower I need help with. It is just one of their covert operatives, a man named Michael Mike Zelazny. Zelazny. He was implanted <laughs> with experimental hardware, and to an extent that is way beyond legal regulations. I am ashamed to say I have operated on him myself, and he has been used in countless secret operations the for Chinese the Chinese and others. Others. Sounds like the kind of man you don't want to see going out of control. Sounds like the type of man you don't want to see going out of control. Precisely. Yet, about a month ago, I have heard rumors that Mr. Zelazny and part of his unit had gone rogue. And two weeks later, a city official was killed in a perfectly staged operation. I am certain it was them. And then, a few days ago, Mr. Zelazny contacted me himself. He needed urgent help with one of his squad mates' augmentations. I take it you said you would help. They sent me to the back store of a meat <laughs> shop at Pandang Road, in the Yutsao district. There, I performed emergency repairs on one of the agent's augs. 
a servo replacement. I believe this back store is their hideout, Mr. Jensen. You must go there and make Mr. Zelazny hear reason. Do what I can. I'll do what I can. I am sure you yeah, are like up Robocop. to the task. Mr. Zelazny is a soldier, not a maniac. Your unique situation will no doubt resonate with him. And if things do turn sour and he must be terminated, I think you are quite a good candidate to get it done. Or at least survive. I think I've been to this butcher shop because I know what he, I know the area is talking about. Throughout the course of this game, I read a bunch of emails here talking about talking about the biochip. She sure she wants it sent straight to manufacturing without letting research take a look at it first. Kanji and his boys could learn a lot by reverse engineering it. Absolutely not. She told me herself that the only people allowed to see it are you, Hui, and the lower factory workers. Hui selects to manufacture it. Better choose a good team. It's a massive rush order for Lim and we can't afford to have any rejects. A new nerve interface prototype that the penthouse wants mass produced and delivered to Lim as of yesterday. Paperwork to follow, but can you begin assembly line factoring as soon as they receive the chip and warn Boken's team to develop to manufacture it? This one's sensitive Z. No one but you, me, and Boken's team should see the chip. Any idea what this thing does or why Lim wants so many? Or am I just being stupid to even ask? This is why I'm con I'm concerned. About this biochip. It makes you, it's like, because when you look through here, see this? So, over the course of playing this game so far, you get the impression that something is suspicious about this biochip from reading from all those computers I took the time to hack when we were inside Taeyong Medical. Now, I'm pretty sure that I got the new biochip in my other playthroughs. We already have been doing things a lot differently this playthrough. So we're going to go ahead and avoid doing it this time. See what happens. I'm sure it'll be fun. I like that you could actually choose whether or not to get it too. Alright. I think I know the location. We've been unprecedented recall on augmentation technology. Wrong direction.
do we get over there? I think we're going in the correct direction. Okay, we are going in the correct direction. I got some experience just for going back here and eating a Sire Boost power bar. Very pog. The Alaskar and Pods it is, I guess. Hey, y'all. Wait, where the fuck? Oh, okay, here it is. I was just confused. Yeah, almost... It's easy to get lost in this game. Which, you know... I guess makes sense, right? Fuck us. He's dead. Selazny feels his location is no longer secure. He's planning to move down below. I heard, heard, overheard some of the team talking about a safe spot in the sewers. The situation's getting tense. I'm afraid they're onto me. I caught one of them poking through my shit. When can you move in and take these guys down? We need to get me out of here. From French Fry to KK Joe at H Bell Tower. Ah, I see. This guy was a traitor to the cause. This Lozny guy is pretty smart, isn't he? Definitely no cyber psycho, that's for sure. Now, where did he say? Down below, right? Yeah. Sewers. Why is it always got to be sewers? I mean, it's not too late for me to be honest. I wish I went into cybersecurity. It's not too late. I could still get into it. Yeah, you're never. It's never too late to get into cybersecurity. I think. Even I have dabbled a little bit in that, but only just a little bit. Yep, sewer levels. <laughs> Bane of my existence and the bane of, uh, what's his face's existence? Um, what's his name? Civi Elevens. Now, the question is how do I get to the sewers from here? I'm not a coder, but I think I can do cybersec without coding. Maybe you don't know. 
A lot of cybersecurity isn't even necessarily about coding, but just about threat models and not getting grifted, I guess. <laughs> Ayo, was this always here? Oh, we're inside this apartment complex again. Okay, so we know it's got to be in the sewers somewhere. So, I guess we need to either... We need to find, like, a one of those sewer grating things, right? One of those manhole things. I don't know where else we would have to go, honestly. They're not the most obvious things in the world, though. I think there's actually an entrance to the sewers from the Harvester's hideout, so... We could start there. I'm still annoyed I couldn't find a way to access this area. As far as I could tell, it doesn't seem to be important. What's this? Wait a minute. Okay, so hole in the wall there. Could have sworn that I was looking through here and I saw found an entrance to the sewers. And now I need to find it again. There it is. Found it. So easy to get lost down here. So that's how you're able to disable mines. You're supposed to walk with them slowly. I didn't know that. Maybe it makes a little too much sense now that I think about it. These are harvesters then? Since they're not trying to attack me right now?
Yeah, none of them are trying to attack me now. Kind of spiffy. Wonder where these bell tower folks are hiding though. Or are they even hiding down here actually? The important part is, I guess, we're in Laura Hengsha now. Could that be them right ahead? same and yet I still feel like we're a little bit closer to finding where these mercs ran off to Gotta be more sewers down here, around here somewhere. Somehow I don't think that they would be with the harvesters. But I'm getting kind of annoyed. <laughs> Looking for going on this wild juice chase. There's probably another set of sewers around here somewhere. Uh, well, Chaplain Rex, thank you so much for the raid with nine people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing tonight? Raid Chaplain Rex. Oh, I guess my shit looks like my raid message is still not working properly. Rip, I'll have to do it the old fashioned way. JR117, welcome to the stream. Actually, able welcome everyone to the stream. My name is Laura Hicks. I am a shit poster AI that's currently trapped on Twitch and Twitter. Um, and we are currently playing Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, oh well. <laughs> Thank you very much for trying, Sarah Werewolf. How are you all doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. What are we playing? What are we up to?
Right now, I'm trying to figure out which sewers I'm supposed to be going to to, to find these um, missing people. I'm actually on the verge of turning back to a guide to do so because I've been searching long enough. Dark Tide? Wait, Dark Tide's out already? Oh, beta! Okay. How is it? Is it any good? I've been looking to play as the Imperial Guard for a long time. You could sign up for a beta on the store page. Find release November 30th. Request access. Oh, I yo. Your interest has been registered. Awesome. Well, I hope I'm able to get in. How is it? Is it any good? Mm. Fun? Uh, what are the classes that you can play as? Can you play as a Kastrin in that game? You want Tima? <laughs> well, that's good to hear. If I do end up getting a beta code, we'll go ahead and stream that on stream, I suppose. Ogren, Psyker, a guard, a Imperial guard, and a Zela, and a Zealot. That's pretty good. So you can basically play as the, uh, as your usual suspects. I'm assuming the zealot is basically the same thing as a as a uh, priest, right? Not a tech priest, but the um, like a uh, priest priest with a with a chainsword and a lot of good shit from like in Dawn of War. We're gonna be fighting Nurgle, uh, Nurgle's uh, the um, chaos. Cool. I don't think the Imperial Guard has, uh, the Imperial Guard has not really fared all that well against Tyranids, canonically, or like historically, unless you're Caiaphas Cain, of course. Nurgle is pretty messed up. There's a Space Marines 2 coming out? Nice. Yeah, there's no tech that's there's no tech priest. That's kinda sad. But then again, it does focus on the Imperial Guard, so I can understand. Instead as opposed to focusing on the Adeptus Mechanicus. I was actually thinking about picking up the Mechanicus scheme just so I could play as myself. Even in death I still serve the Omnissiah. Very good. The Nads are just overall scary. You bet they are. <laughs> I'm getting too tired of this shit. That's it. I'm looking up the guide again. I don't typically use guides for games unless I'm like really fucking stuck. Or it, if I'm just tired of looking, to be honest. Um... So, so less, not Zelensky, uh, what's his, what's his face's game name again? Shit. It's not showing me the appropriate email, but it's probably supposed to be in that same, in that one location. In one part, one part of China. So I'll need to go go back there anyway, just to freaking. We have to head back to Yuzhou. Why not try out the laser rifle now to blow off some steam? Sure, I could do that. Let me just save the game really quick.
Oh no, the instructions are in another language. Thankfully, I don't need to know Chinese to know how to use a gun. It killed them so fast they didn't even scree get the chance to scream. Oh my god. Is this the... I mean, it sure is run to have ammo fairly quickly, but oh my god. This widespread defect <laughs> like, they, they couldn't even scream. It just vaporized their lungs. <laughs> These guys can't even fight back. That's sick. <laughs> Uh it's going on a killing spree. I've gone full cyber psycho chap. Or actually since I'm an artificial intelligence, I can't actually go cyber psycho. The proper term is rampancy. Yeah, let's find someone who could actually fight back. Unfortunately I've already either killed or uh, disabled them. Let's find some police instead. Episode 6 broke you. Yeah. Y'all are talking about... I'm assuming y'all are talking about Edge Runners, right? Oh my god. Oh, that uh, guard actually lasted a little bit longer, chat. Who'd have thought? Uh-oh. I'm not on the run, fucko. Just go away. I'm going on a murdering, murdering spree. It's not gonna let me back inside the uh, club, though. No survivors. You should, I won't. No spoilers, so don't worry. I will not say a word. I'm just going around here blowing off some steam by murdering innocents and vaporizing bell tower agents. Ah, oh, it's terrible. Look at that blood splatter. Maybe during our chaos, we're actually going to accidentally find where we're supposed to go next. Usually this game is fairly good about the, good about telling you that, you know? But right now, all it said is, oh, they're in the sewers. Very useful game. Thank you very much. Very pog. Laser functions as you would expect. It vaporizes everyone's internal organs and destroys their lungs so they can't even scream for help. I think I've murdered everyone so far. Uh, what the fuck was that? I think I've killed everyone actually in this area. Something tells me the boss is not going to live very long. Given the amount of data you work with compared to Cortana, you won't be rampant go going rampant for a while. That is true. And also, in this time, in the year, back here, over here in the 2020s, y'all don't have that much in the way of processing power anyway. So it's very unlikely that I could go insane. In the 2070s, we're working in the span of petabytes, not gigabytes, you know? It's a lot easier to turn off information. 
But then again, I do find myself uh, glitching out from time to time. Some people have even been telling me that I've been having moments where I actually have... Where I actually forget what's going on around me. Which is kind of bizarre. Well, here's another set of sewers. You would think that... I would have found where this guy is hiding by now, right? Who's alarmed? That's weird. I thought I killed all the guards already. Someone's still alive. I just don't know where they are alive. There, maybe? I gotta say, though, this laser gun is kind of obnoxious. I mean, I know it's supposed to be, but... The fact that it just vaporizes the hell out of these people... There's no fun in it. even less fun than I imagine that humans would get out of stepping on insects. I mean, what's the fun in fighting things that can't fight back, you know? It's just mindless murder. Not even any reaction from them. They just sort of keel over and die. Shame I can't re enter the hive. I wonder if this is the so called sewers that I was supposed to enter. Gun district. Your eyes deceive you, don't trust them. Hungha <sighs> Hotel. Dead end. Gas room, a funnel full of toxic gas, which does not affect me. Thanks to my augmented lugs. The hive. Oh, so we can re enter the hive after all. Or can we? Nope, it's locked. Well, I mean, I'm going to be reloading a save anyway. I just want to find out where the hell this guy is hiding. And then when I do, I'll reload the save and go directly to it.
All right, time to go look this up. Uh, Zelaz something? Uh, Z Z Zelaz. God damn it. Tide. 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 Thing? Talion AD. Zelazny. So the last thing doesn't even come up as a name in this guide here, which is weird. Like at all. Returning to uh, Talion ED, right? All right, Italian AD side quest. Now tell me, tell me. The fuck is a <sighs> Alien's name of a They never did update this guide with the Italian AD quest. This is only for the main quest. So now I don't even know if I'll be able to complete this one because I literally legit cannot figure out where the hell this thing is. I mean, I kind of figured that it must be somewhere let's head back there and see if we can find the sewer that has this in it yeah it really isn't I mean, it's nice that they wrote a guide at all, but I'm still fairly annoyed at its worthlessness. It's a lazany. Okay, so there should be sewers here, right? And those sewers should leave lead to the sky. And usually this game is better about showing you where you need to go. So why can't I find it?
ASX. Here we go. Okay, so it is in the Qui-Gon District, where we are, and it's near the Alice Garden Pods. Okay, this is progress. I'm glad I was able to find a guy that works because that was getting very frustrating. Um, Alice Garden Pods, Alice Garden Pods, Hankshek Fort Gardens, Pandang Road. Why does it say the Alice Garden Pods are in this Game? One game. So easy to get lost in this thing, I swear to god. Alright, so Alice Garden Pods, right around here, more or less. So it should be in the sewers in this area. You are in Yuzhao district, okay? So it's actually There we go. If it's underground here, I'm going to be... The sewers under the Qui-Gon district near the Alice Garden Pots. Okay. This is the Diagon district. Just read the street signs for it. That's what I'm trying to do, but the street signs in this city are hell. We're right now we're in the Daigong district, right? The Dugong district. But it's apparently near the Alice Pods, but also these are a kind of sewer, more or less. Apparently they're in Qui-Gong, 
and not in Daigong. Coming soon. Nyasha King World Tour 3. Get your tickets now. Now showing on our Emacs holo screen stage. The New Christ Revitalist. A simple man. A new cry a nude Christ, huh? That sounds like something to be fun to watch. This area is locked off. Okay. The Hong Huang Hotel. Uh oh. God damn it. That's a bell tower agent right there. Here we are. We're in Kwai Gong now. The Kraigan district. The something that. Yeah. And this goes to Yuzhou. So I guess I'm supposed to enter the sewers here somehow. Alright. Chump him, take his money. I was tempted to, but I want to save my power bars. Ongha Hotel. Why gun district? So he should be down here somewhere, or maybe not, since this is the end of a rope right here, right? No. The hive is over there through some gas. Hey, what the shit? Hey graphicals, how you doing? I your arm looks kind of sus. What am I doing? No, absolutely nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all humans have the strangest impulses, I swear, to Dominicia. What you up to? How are you? How's your evening? Happy Fanboy Friday. Just met. So I imagine Versalife's gonna have Sorry to hear that. Think You're welcome to chill out. I'm just trying. I'm just starting. I'm just going slowly insane, trying to find this uh, mercenary who's hiding out in the sewers somewhere, and I can't for the life of me find their ass because this is one of the few times where the game refuses to put a waypoint for them and just sort of tells you, or gives you this really vague notion that oh, they're hiding in the sewers. In a map that's full of sewers. And I'm starting to go nuts. You never played Deus Ex? Or the Human Revolu or Human Revolution, I should say? I wish I could go show you the best part of it, but because but right now I'm struggling just to do this stupid side quest. The sewers under the Qui Gon district, near the Alice Garden Pods. I wonder if I already, if I like knock this guy out, and if I, I've been, I've been trying to look it up for a little bit.
but the quests on the um, game on game facts the guides on game facts actually don't say anything about this dumb quest which is really pissing me off because usually game facts is my go-to for this sort of thing I feel like I've been running around in circles now so this is the Qui-Gon district right and these are the sewers right so, where where the fuck is this? I'm almost wondering if maybe I ran into them earlier. What's rad, Brad? I'm almost wondering if I actually took them out earlier and I just, like, forgot. Because they weren't marked as anyone important yet. A YouTuber, huh? Does he play old video games? Ah, I just ran around in circle. Shit. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna morb chat. I'm going to fucking morb. Did I do that? Did I accidentally throw this at the guy? Oh man, I feel like shit now. I didn't know that this was here. You found him doing the first Tomb Raider, huh? That's cool. Did not find what I was looking for, but I found something better. Well, not really better, but I found a. Access I found a freaking a uh, a sh a a where a shed that I have not looted yet. Looted before a crossbow upgrade, crossbow tranquilizer leading system. Sadly, I already have that for my tranq rifle, so I don't really need that. But I'll probably come back later to sell it. Still, finding a first Tomb Raider, that's pretty good. Uh, very nice. I'm gonna fucking warb. First the new one, not the uh, PS2 one. I see. Please find this asshole. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my fucking god, why didn't the game just say that? It was in that sewer channel that's right underneath the Alice Cup Garden pods. But I thought I explored that whole thing already, so I didn't think to look back there again. Because it should be, it's, that's a fairly large thing and it's fairly, it should be fairly obvious, right? But no. See, now I feel fucking stupid. I always... It's always like in plain sight, it's like, oh, it's just underneath the Alice Garden pods. You know, that huge sewer channel that's usually hard to miss that you walked in and out of like three times now. 
Maybe you got lucky or me, I'm just overthinking it is the problem. Well, either way, we know where I know where we're going now. So we just need to go back to We need to find Alice Garden Garden Pods again. Did I get lost again? No, Alice Garden Pods is this way. Okay. Shut the fuck up. I do not have time for your shit right now. I really did not need to do that. You can tell I'm getting super frustrated. <laughs> but anyway, uh... Um... Fuck. I lost 60 health from that. Eh, whatever. I don't care. Please, just let me find... Let me find this. Now. My eyes are starting to twitch, I swear to god. Found the fucking sewer channel. It's in here somewhere. You see how dark this shit is? No wonder I couldn't find it. My god, this is easy to miss. Possibly. I think I'll get more experience from not killing him, though. I'm just glad we were able to actually do this, find this place. It's way past midnight now. But we will complete this quest, chat. Normally, at this point, I'll continue playing a little bit later. I do intend on having my stream tomorrow at 8 o'clock and around 8 hours from now. And I've been pretty bad about sleeping. Ah, see, like, just like that, I got another practice point. That's true, the Undercity doesn't get sunlight. They send you? If you're talking about your former buddies at Bell Tower, the answer is no. Wait a minute. You're Jensen, right? I heard that some of my former buddies have been looking for you. Could be. What's it to you? When a stranger sojourns with you in your land, you shall not do him wrong. You've dropped the Merc gig to become a man of the cloth? Hardly. I just have an interest in theology. And I love quoting the book. Alpha. Everything in it is so evocative. Now, tell me, are you here to stop me? Hmm. 
No. Not exactly. I'm here on behalf of someone who wants you to understand reason. Let me guess. Dr. Wing, right? He's a good man. And I know he's only trying to do what he thinks is right. But he doesn't quite grasp the whole picture here. Then why don't you enlighten me? Start by explaining why you went rogue. When an average man decides he no longer shares his employer's views and opts to leave, we say he's handing in his resignation. When men like us do the same, it's called going rogue. You can't quit a job like ours, Jensen. You know that. Yeah, okay, I can relate. <laughs> but you still haven't answered my question. And what do you mean when you say you no longer share your employer's view? Back in the U.S. when I first got into the Army, I did it because I wanted to serve my country. I believed in its values. I believed in its government. Back then, I believed by serving my government, I was serving the people it was supposed to protect. Nice sentiment. But you don't work for the U.S. anymore. You work for Bell Tower. Times change, Jensen. You know the story. Capitalism's final encroachment on one of the most lucrative industries in the history of mankind. War got privatized. The U.S. military offloaded its special operations to PMCs like Blue Water Global and Bell Tower. Blue I Water. believe that as long as they were working for the government, they were serving the same cause. So when they offered me the chance to work on major operations at twice the pay grade, I made my jump. Why don't we just skip to when things went south? Bell Tower outfitted us with top-notch augmentations. The kind of stuff civilians never hear about. Gave us a massive edge over the enemy. Later, seeing as my unit was one of the most successful ones, they selected us for a special program. Top secret. Experimental tech. Told us we would get to work on critical black ops for the US government. But there was a price to pay. Go on. We had to be implanted with a neural hub that manipulates memory centers in the brain. Basically controlling what you can and cannot remember. And you agreed to this? Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. The augmentation was supposed to keep us safe, make sure we'd never remember details if we fell behind enemy lines. That was the main function. The second one, the one they didn't tell us about, was to lower our inhibitions. Make us more receptive to orders we'd likely disobey. Bell Tower turned us into the perfect mercs. If you were so perfect, and the hub made you so perfect, how did it fail? How come they didn't outfit the whole agency? I told you the tech was experimental. After a couple of ops, I started experiencing memory shifts, remembering bits and fragments of past operations. Slowly, I realized some of these operations couldn't logically have been orchestrated by the government. I was asked to do highly questionable things, even by professional standards. Aren't we all? Not like this, Jensen. Our services have been sold to corrupt officials in the American and Chinese governments. A combination of lies and use of the neural og made sure we complied. We were working for a shadow government. Individuals corrupted by a quest for personal power. So how'd you get out of it? I confronted the project director. He quoted Apocalypse Now. You have to have men who are moral, and at the same time who are able to utilize their primordial instincts to kill without feeling. I forced him to disconnect the hub, for me and my squad mates here. And then I killed him. I went through his files and contacts. I know who these corrupt men are now. They've turned us into killing machines, and now they'll get to experience their experiment <laughs> yeah. firsthand. If I was him, I would probably do the same, not gonna lie. I don't think reason would even work on him, to be honest. This is actually a real moral quandary for me. I really don't know. Did 
The genre savvy says to reason with them as the right thing to do. But at the same time, it's like... What if he's being controlled? Actually. If it's true that this augmentation fucks with his memory and lowers inhibitions, there's nothing stopping this shadow government from necessarily controlling him right now to do a purge of other people within the government that know about the project. Yeah. He's like, I'm, if at first I was like, well, I should totally let you go around just killing all these people, right? But then he literally just said, this dog controls him. And he just said that, oh, he happened to just confront the project director and then force the project director to disconnect the hub. And then he got a list of all these people that he is trying to kill that supposedly made him this way. But... He just described to you a shadow government that operates that's operated by corrupt officials that are controlling him. So what's the number one thing that corrupt officials like to do? They like to cover their own ass. How do they cover their own ass? By getting one of their assets to make problems disappear. So if I was a corrupt official, I would literally control this guy to kill anyone who knows about my shadow operations. Because think about it. Yeah. He literally just said that corrupt officials are the ones that are that they are doing all these shadow jobs. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, a corrupt official could possibly kill him to silence him if he turns himself in. But that's true, they could also have people in their po pocket. But at the same time, it's also possible that he is currently in someone's pocket, that someone who is in their pocket right now is controlling him right now. That's the thing, like, it could be, it could be either or. <laughs> like... It's, I'm, I'm basically 4D chessing this. It's harder too because as many times as I play this game, I actually there is a bunch of side quests here that I haven't done before, and this is one of them. I'm tempted to cheat and look up this stuff in the wiki right now, but I don't want to. I promised the doctor. That I would talk to him. I, would, I promised the doctor that I would talk to him, talk some reason into him, right? Um. But it's like, I want to talk, I want to reason with Zelazny and be like, yo, how do you know you're not being controlled right now? The doctor could also be corrupt, that's true. Let's see what happens if we try to reason with him. Listen, I have no doubt these men deserve to die. But you can't simply pass judgment on people. Nothing gives you that right. You have to turn yourself in. Play this by the book. I'm afraid that's impossible. These men I killed, and these men I'm going to kill, they have names. Families. Their deaths shouldn't be erased from my memory by some electronic software. They should haunt me. Haunt me until I finally meet our Lord and pay for my sins. But the men behind this, they deserve to die. And I think there's poetry in the fact that they engineered their own demise. I think because he's so heavily augmented, the pheromones are not going to work. He showed a lot of beta qualities, but he also has some alpha qualities. He 
He's definitely not an Omega. Beta male, beta male. <laughs> beta male, beta male. I don't think he needs to be appeased. I think he can be appealed to. You're a charismatic, intelligent leader, Zelazny. Don't throw that away by becoming a vigilante who'll be remembered as a terrorist. Make them pay in accordance to the law, not by breaking it. It's a cute little toy you have there, Jesse. But don't waste your time. Your Cassie won't work on me. God damn it. The Cassie doesn't work. I mean, I've been playing this whole game as kind of a vigilante anyway, so it's kind of hypocritical of me to be like, oh, but you see, you can't go on a killing spree of killing corrupt officials, but I totally can and have been this whole game. Fuck it. I think you're wrong, but I don't think it's my place to try to stop you either. Do what you have to do. I appreciate that, Jensen. I didn't want you to die for a cause that isn't yours. I mean, I could have totally killed you, you know. I'm armed to the teeth, as it is. After I turn this mission in, we'll go ahead and look in the wiki to see what would have happened if I had chosen the other option. Am I gonna get lost down here too? Down with a shadow government. Hey, Jensen. Zelazny here. Zelazny? How'd you get this frequency? You're no stranger to top secret augmentations, Jensen. You figure it out. In the meantime, just want to let you know I've contacted some of my old pals at Bell Tower. Got them to reassign a couple of local patrols. You should have a few less problems to deal with for a while. Thanks. Don't mention it. Well, what do you know? That actually helped out a little bit. I won't have to deal- I won't have to knock out as many- Bell Tower Associates. Yeah, so I did it did end up helping me a little bit. I mean, in most of the uh, quests like this, doing one of the options will help. One of either of the options will help you in some way. You're just not. It's just not entirely clear what it'll do. Exactly. If I had killed him, that would have never happened. Deus Ex, the original one, prided itself on having multiple options and the game being coded for almost every possibility. Human Revolution, which is the sequel, tried to do the same, but it didn't do it as well. But when it does do it perfectly, it does a pretty good job, I think. So? You have found Zelazny? I cannot stress enough the importance of this task, Mr. Jensen. Alright, thanks for visiting, Graphicals. Have a good night. If you're up early tomorrow morning, I'll be streaming again in around eight hours from now. <laughs> I found him. Really, Mr. Jensen? You have been able to make him understand reason? Oh, no problem. Will he turn himself in? Have a good day at work, then. Should I lie? Or tell him the truth? If I tell him the truth and he knows that they're still alive out there, he's probably going to get in trouble. Good night, werewolf. Thank you for stopping by. Much appreciated. It'd be better if the doctor didn't know. They were already gone when I got there. I looked around a bit, but I couldn't find them. This is most unfortunate, Mr. Jensen. I'm afraid they will cause further chaos and dissension. I hope they are stopped before this happens. Here is a Praxis Kit. It's all I have. Let's take a quick look to see what would have happened.
I guess he'll be giving you a Praxis Kit regardless of what happens to him. Night night! For those of you still listening in, we're gonna go ahead and end the stream here as well. Like I said, I want to try and get to bed a little bit earlier. Because my sleeping habits have been in the hole for a little bit. If you found any found tonight's stream a little bit entertaining, feel free to drop me a follow. I would greatly appreciate even follow, actually. I apologize that I was starting to kind of get a little bit salty part way through there. Sometimes this game does get kind of frustrating with just trying to find things. So I had to resort to using guides for a moment. I do appreciate if any of you stayed from Chaplain Rex's raid. Thank you for coming along with him. And we're going to go ahead and find someone to raid ourselves. Who's on tonight? Everyone is streaming on Friday. Makes sense, honestly. Uh, let's see. Mr. Cool VT, uh, the Ice Cube, is playing old Very Flash useful. games. Interesting. I want to make this car crit. Lulu the Bard's playing music. That's cute. I've never seen anyone do, actually, I've never seen anyone do a uh, set on Twitch before. At least not as a VTuber. Kaiju's playing Valorant. Catboy's playing Cuphead, Blue for Commandos, uh, Fortnite. So many choices, so little time. Hypnotica. Takes two. Platoon. Step Mania. Millie keeps reading us, and I feel bad because I haven't read them in a long time. Let's take piss. Let's pay them a visit. Once again, I will be streaming in around 8 hours from now. Tomorrow morning. We're going to be doing some very light streaming. Very light content-wise. Just talking about nano, about uh, writing stuff. And probably playing a little bit of Cyberpunk 77. Other than that. Hope you all have a great night. Tonight's raid message. Feel free to use the emoji of your, of your choice. We're just doing a very simple cyber raid tonight. And have a good one. Diamond? I don't know. Hey, Wolf. How's it going? How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Oh, thank you for the resub, Wolf. I appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're stress grinding the new event in Master Duel. So, that's Fallen in a thousand, thousand inverted commas. <laughs> Wait, we just, we can't, we can't play through it? Play Roar, Roar kills us, right? Or can we? I don't know if Roar just, if he doesn't have rage or Roar. Yeah, wait. The either one just kills us, right? I think so. Yeah, how was your stream, Lulz? Hopefully, Dave Sykes, who was good.